documentation, but uh, it's meant to tell you basically to explain what is Kinetrics, why Kinetrics uh, can be helpful to you, and um, how to get started with Kinetrics. It's um, the um, this presentation uh, I am Lorenzo Militri Lenz, and uh, I am the founder of Leway in Switzerland, and I'll be your uh, host for today. Okay, let's see. What is the problem we are facing with Kinetrics? The problem we are facing is that a call center is the face uh, that your company shows to the world. People will get an impression or get an idea of uh, or get an opinion of your company based on what happens with your call center because they are going to call you. And uh, this interaction is way more important than, I don't know, looking up you on the web or anything. And uh, if the call center performance is bad, I'm not going to, everybody will have experienced this firsthand, people will be annoyed and frustrated and not be happy. So, if you run a call center, the problem is, how do you tell if you are uh, behaving correctly, if you are behaving uh, uh, in a good way or in a bad way? And the other thing is, somebody is going to, put, to pay to have the call center running. You need to justify the expense, and the expense of the call center is not usually very, very small. The fact is, um, the call center industry used to be, like 20 years ago, there was an, a very significant impact of uh, capital on, um, on the, the total cost, because uh, uh, telephone lines were extremely expensive, and uh, telecom equipment before asterisk was uh, very, very expensive. So the, 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 the industry was uh, labor intensive, but in a way that was uh, less than it is today. Nowadays, uh, most of what you're, uh, of the cost uh, is the labor. So it's more important to keep track of agent performance, understanding agent performance, because you're going to pay, depending on the country you live in, you're going to pay hundreds to thousands of dollars per month per agent. And uh, if ad ad agents that are, uh, that are um, not managed correctly are going to behave in a suboptimal way and uh, are going to to have a problem with attrition. So if you have better insights, and that, that's what Kinetrix tries to do, better insights will reduce your operational expenses. You will improve the satisfaction of people actually using the service you provide, and uh, this means a better, um, a better uh, opinion people will have of your company and uh, a better uh, retention of your clients. And uh, last but not least, uh, agent satisfaction can be improved by a tool by Kinetrix. And agent retention, this means uh, improving the service they provide and uh, reducing the costs of uh, training. Given the kind of uh, expenses you are facing with a call center, even a very small improvement in the way you manage your call center will have a, uh, will be, will have a significant impact on your bottom line at the end of the year. So, what is Kinetrix? Kinetrix is meant to be an industrial-grade call center monitoring and reporting system. This means that Kinetrix is built to report on call centers that are basically pure players. You can use Kinetrix is also built to be deployed in different scenarios, but Kinetrix is built uh, so that it can adapt to very large systems. It, it is built with um, uh, a very high uh, level of attention to data integrity and consistency. You upgrade, you upgrade your PBX or your PBX logs things uh, incorrectly or something happens, Kinetrix is going to handle this. Kinetrix can grow with you, meaning that you can start with a very small system and grow. We have clients that have uh, over 1,000 live agents uh, on, on the system they're running, on a cluster system, of course. Kinetrix works with clusters of asterisk servers so that you look at them as if they were one big box. These clusters can be local or geographically distributed. Kinetrix is a major product, meaning that it's deployed in thousands of call centers worldwide. We have a lot of clients in any industry and basically in any country, uh, anywhere. Um, what this means is that if you cannot do something in Kinetrix, uh, it's um, very likely that uh, you there, there is a way to do this, or somebody else already had the same problem. So it's very um, nearly every user case is uh, is covered by Kinetrix. And where we don't, we're going to help you in, in getting this done. So, the first thing that Kinetrix does, we're going to see this uh, in a better, uh, with a better detail later, is uh, to see the live status of your call centers. This means uh, the live status of the queues and uh, 
outbound campaigns you may be running. You can, uh, this means uh, looking at the, the live calls, so you can see not only which calls are connected to which agents, but which calls are waiting, how long they've been waiting. You can listen to calls in progress by clicking on them and, uh, and um, getting the audio. You can chat with agents. You can uh, see the IVRs, you can see music on hold, depending on the asterisk version. And you can see ACD attempts, that is very important for routing, we're going to see this later. You can view uh, and manage your current set of agents. You can log agents on and off. You can uh, pose and unpose agents, change their status codes. You can move people between uh, between um, queues to balance the workload, and uh, you can um, pose and unpose the agents so that you are sure that everybody has uh, the, the correct status. You can send messages, push messages to the agents so that they can know what's going on, and uh, you can target on agents by a number of criteria like the queues they're working on, the, the agent group they belong to, a number of things. And uh, the, the last thing that uh, the um, real-time monitoring does is to get you live alarms. You're going to see something like this on the right part of the screen here. You're going to see that uh, there are a number of cells that are colored by yellow or red. All this is configurable and so that you can see at a glance if there is anything weird going on in your consent. The other thing that Kimetrix does is the agent interface. Agents can have, uh, you don't have to use this, but most of our clients do use this. Agents can manage their own life cycle. They log on to Kimetrix and then from there they log on to the Azure system. They can connect to one or, more, or a set of queues at once so that you can decide with different details if you want agents to be able to say, okay, I'm here, I'm going to work, or I can uh, please log me on to all the queues uh, I need to work with, or uh, Please log me on, but let me also choose if I need to work on other queues. They can uh, pause and unpause, and they can set status codes, and they can get live messages from their supervisors. Then, when they handle calls, they're going to have screen pops. Screen pops are available uh, on a queue-by-queue -queue basis, so that you can link to external application that may be different from, from one queue to the other. Uh, users, uh, agents can set um, uh, status codes on calls, so for example they can uh, say, tell the system that the call was a sale or that uh, it was, uh, I don't know, a contact or anything like this. It's uh, completely user definable so that at the reporting level you can see how many calls fall within each category. You, they can dial out using the, um, the agent page as an interface to call out and uh, have the calls tracked correctly by Kimetrix and categorized by campaign by the reason they are doing this, and they can track quality, meaning that they can use uh, the, the quality system as a kind of micro CRM. They can, if you want to, you can also configure key metrics so that agents can run their own statistics so they can see how they are behaving. The, the core of key metrics is the metrics, is the historical reports. With historical reports, we're going to get a lot of information on, uh, on uh, we're going to, to see this um, later in more details, but it would take a lot of time to, to explain everything in detail. Basically, the, the main area that you're, you're going to, 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 to see are uh, everything about calls, everything about agent sessions, everything about connection attempts. This is very important to understand the routing. Uh, you can get daily statistics or by time period, the time outcomes, business statistics, a lot of, uh, a lot of things. You have uh, basically anything you, you, the advantage of using a, a widely deployed solution is that in most cases what you're looking at is already there because somebody else had the, the, the same need before. Qmetrix offers a, a large set of drill down filters so that you can target by queue and by a lot of uh, attributes of uh, any call like the caller ID or the caller or the time period and everything together so that you can find exactly the calls you need. Everything is configurable, meaning that you can decide who is going to see which kind of information. And uh, the most important part of this is that when you get a call or a, or a statistics and you see a set, of, a set of calls, by clicking on a call, you do not only see the details, the exact details of the call, but the call can have associated metadata and usually what you get is that you have associated recordings. You click on the recording and you listen to the call that was handled between uh, the agent and the and the and caller. And you can use this for the last uh, main area of key metrics, that is quality tracking. With quality tracking, you can create forms, quality forms, where you basically define a set of rules that uh, your agent should obey when, uh, when uh, answering calls. This can be completely configurable. 
the um, forms are very flexible, meaning that you can have parts that turn on, turn off, uh, based on what happens before. And then you're going to grade calls uh, based on a set of attributes. And uh, when you grade calls, you're going to get out of grading calls, you're going to get statistics, you can find areas for improvement, and then you can have first uh, understand the current statistics. Then you can have a tool, you can use Kmetrics as a tool to find an efficient set of calls to be scored. This means that when you do scoring in Kmetrics, you usually have multiple targets, for example. You can say, I want to review 100% of all the calls that end up being saved, and I want to review 80% of the calls that are made by new hires, and I want to review 30% of the calls that are made by, by agents that have been working with us for a while. So Qmetrics is going to target, or now I want to review calls that are, have specific statuses. Qmetrics is going to find a, a set of calls that is random, so that it's not too much bias, but still it tries to be efficient, so it's not very large. It tries to match as many goals as possible with, um, with a specific call. This means that uh, this lowers your review costs. And then uh, you can manage life qu the quality life cycle of people, meaning that in using the performance tracker, meaning that you can track calls, um, you can track people, understand to see their quality over time, understand their issues, uh, and send them coaching information, or you can uh, move them to temporary groups or do things like this uh, so that you can manage their, if they are behaving well, and you can recheck after a while. There is a, a system of tasks that get sent between the agent and the grader so that the agent knows that they have, you can turn this off if you want, but the agent usually knows that they have been scored so they can, uh, if they don't think the score is fair, can uh, get back and uh, tell the, 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 the system that the, and then tell the grader that they do not agree. And also you can use the quality system as a kind of micro CRM so that you can link specific people, so specific information to calls. For example, if you need to know the sex of the age group or something like this about the caller or the kind of product they call us you, they call you, they can, you can use this as a kind of mini database. Last things uh, I'm going to tell about Kmetrics in general. Kmetrics is built uh, from the scratch with a strong security model, so you can decide who is going to see what. This is very important. And this means that you can configure Qmetrics to be a completely multi-tenant system where uh, different uh, users are completely insulated and do not, are not aware that the others exist. Qmetrics supports agent hot desking and agent logging in. This means that you can have a way to... Uh, a person is not an extension, so you can uh, say that uh, specific uh, people can work at different times using different extension, and Qmetrics is going to track the person, not the physical extension. Qmetrics offers wall boards, and the Qmetrics offers that everything you see in Qmetrics can be exported through an XML RPC API, and very soon we are having JSON as well. Qmetrics is currently localized to 15 languages, and we have more on pipeline, and have, has extensive manuals and extensive support options that are very important, because you're not alone. Qmetrics was built from the ground up to be not to be fancy. You're, you're going to see that it's not especially fancy in terms of uh, looks or anything, but to be rock solid. It's a tool. It's something you should basically forget about. You should not be looking at what it does, but should be looking at, uh, at the results of its action. So what we try to do is to produce first class documentation. Everything is documented. It has a large user community that may help you, and we will help you during uh, the installation phase and in deployment. And uh, Qmetrics is highly customizable, meaning that uh, it can be customized by you in, in, from, in some areas, uh, even by writing code that gets uh, connected to Qmetrics, or we can do customizations for you, depending on 